Hey everyone, Michael here with another video. So today we're going to be going through our custom tray of how we're going to design that because for a digital denture, it's going to be a little bit of a different uh, custom tray than you would make for a conventional denture. And I just want you to understand how it's different. And so hopefully you can understand this process a little bit more for how we're going to fabricate our wax rims with this digital workflow. All right, so when we're fabricating our custom trays for these digital dentures, it's going to be a little bit different than we would for a conventional denture. So on a conventional denture, you would have your triad material and then you would have your little handle right here so you can take it in and out in the appointment. But for this, we're going to ideally do our maxillary mandibular relations in the same appointment. But even if we don't, we're still gonna be fabricating that most of the time off of our final impression. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our preliminary preliminary cast right here. Um, I apologize that we I've blocked out a lot on these, uh, but what we're gonna do, fabricate our custom trays on there, make sure we're, they're smooth just like we would for a normal conventional workflow. And then we're going to actually put a wax rim directly on it. There will be no handle on it. And this actually kind of serves as a handle that you're able to get some grip on it to be able to take it in and out of the patient's mouth. And so then when you go into your appointment, you're gonna just do your boredom molding first, obviously with your heavy body, and then you're gonna be taking your final impression. And then it's gonna look something like this. So it's really large, it's really bulky, but it captures all of the areas that we really need to for these digital dentures. So well, we'll capture obviously like our intaglio surface, we boredom molded, but then we'll immediately just do our maximum individual relations on it. Now. The process for this, you just got to think of the why behind it. So for a digital denture, there's no reason to have a master cast or a record base uh, because we're just, uh, we have our impression right here that we're able to directly scan in. And so that's the reason for it of if there is a situation where there is uh, collapsed VDO where this impression material and the custom tray and the wax rim, it's all very bulky. So if it's too thick for the patient and we would have to do a record base, we can. But for the majority of cases, we're just going to border mold and take the final impressions directly with these wax rims on the custom trays. All right, so that does it with how we're going to be fabricating our custom tray with a wax rim on top of it. So now we're gonna take that to our appointment where we're going to be doing our border molding, final impressions, and then also our maxillomandibular relationship uh, basically on top of that final impression. And I showed you what it looks like when it should be done. And so now we're gonna go on to our next video where we're gonna, going to scan in our completed wax rim after we've done that appointment. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and have a great rest of your day.